Hi there guys, this is Dylan from New Boreal Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make depth of field using the node editor in Blender 2.6. So as you can see, this is what we're going to end up with. We've got some nice blur here while this is all crisp. So let's get started. We're just going to start with a new file. And we are going to press Shift A. And we're going to go down to Empty. Then we're going to come up here to Object Data, or sorry, not Object Data, Object, and we're going to click that and press, uh, or we're going to rename it to DOF for Depth of Field. And from there, we're going to select the camera, and we are going to go over to Object Data, and uh, down under Focus, we're going to click that and go down to Depth of Field. Now what we're going to do, or the DOF, whatever you want to call it, now we're going to press Shift A, add a plane, and we will move that down, pressing Control so it locks and is perfect with the cube. We're going to press S, and we'll size that up um, 10,000, I guess, so it goes on for infinity. From there, we are going to go into Camera View by pressing 0, select the camera, press G, then Z, that way we come down a bit and press shift F so we can look around freely and we'll just kind of work it so that we're looking directly at the cube but seeing the background now we're gonna select the cube and we're gonna uh, change the color to I guess red is good or that's kind of a pinkish but who cares uh, now we're gonna Press 7 and 5 to change it to orthographic. And now we're going to duplicate this and we'll change the color to green. Whoops. No, we actually want to leave this red. Press this 2. Now we want to change it to green. <laughs> and then from there, we're just going to duplicate it all around. And I'm only changing the color so you can kind of see the contrast of blur and stuff. So, and we'll just duplicate it all over so you have blurry objects in the background. And then we are going to get started on the node editor. So we're going to click and drag that corner so we get an extra window here. And we'll go to the node editor. Then we will select this button here, node tree, and use nodes. Now we'll zoom in so you can see this a bit better. Press Shift A, and that will bring up this menu. Go down to Filter, and we want Defocus. Now you can do glare and stuff too with the same kind of principles, so you get cool um, uh, compositing effects and stuff. So now we'll just uh, go to Z here, and we'll drag that down to the bottom there. We will then use press uh, Use Z Buffer. And from there, we'll drag this f-stop, or actually, I'll just type in 9. I kind of know that because I've made this tutorial a couple times now. And now we're going to drag up the samples. For the case of the tutorial, I'll do 150. This just um, does how well-defined the depth of field is so it looks more realistic or whatnot and less grainy and all that stuff. So I'm going to go to camera view down there. Um, now what we're going to do is I guess we're just going to render it. So we render that. And as it processes it, now you can see we've got some nice depth of field. All the stuff that's closer is more in focus, and this is an ultimate focus. And what you can actually do is select the empty here, and you can move it um, to other places, and then render it and the depth of field will be more over there see this is more in focus than it was before if I move this here I'll go like this and I'll move it way back to here I guess zero and we'll render that and you can see the difference and you can actually empty or not empty animate the empty see this is all out of focus animate the empty so you get cross focus effects and whatnot so i hope this tutorial was helpful and that you'll subscribe i'm coming out with a new tutorial every wednesday so um be looking for those and i'll see you next time thanks bye